So I'm going to be loading this gun with this. This is full of pellets and this is with homemade pepper ball. And let's find out how good this is in a real life test. Hello and welcome back everybody to the Geek Tech Show. In today's episode, we're going to be checking out the UMAX and this is the T4E what somebody might be calling the ultimate self-defense shotgun that is available on the market for you that you can legally own if you're over age 16 I think that is the law in, in most states that is but you don't need a special permit you don't need a special thing to have this because this is a bb gun but it looks almost as if it is the real deal uh well slightly because the real one will have the pop pump action but one thing about this it's kind of cool this is almost the same identical looks almost exactly like the terminator with shotgun but this one is not eight joule it is 16 so it is twice the power you load up the balls or some other improvised items in here that you can actually create and you can actually potentially create your own pepper spray and I'm going to be showing you later on in this video how you can create your own pepper spray, load this up and even post pellets. Now th this is not even for BBs, this is for rubber balls but I managed to shoot a bunch of pellets with this as well. Now <coughs> when I was shooting um, the whole thing and I shot right before I made this video I got a sniff of a bunch of the <laughs> those things that I put right in here which was the homemade mix of that stuff and and yeah it's kind of hard to breathe a little bit after that so you have to see what, what I mean by that now there's a few things about this now first of all you can actually shoot not one but two different shots at the same exact time so if you going to be putting this right in the middle it's going to shoot both of them if you sh actually move it to one direction it's going to shoot one on one side one of the chambers so you can actually pick which one you want to shoot and when so that's the good thing about this now when it is armed with the bb and the cartridge actually the cartridge itself right here once you puncture it this thing right here the safety right there is going to just turn on there is no real safety in this gun so once it is loaded up it's going to shoot so you don't want to put your hand on the trigger unless you're going to go ahead and want to shoot something now there is a double safety feature on the actual trigger itself you can kind of see it right here there is actually something over there and unless you press this all the way down it's not gonna shoot it in so it is a, a kind of like a double trigger now right now if you press on it just a little bit it's not gonna turn on unless you press on both of them at the same exact time so the trigger is not easy for you to pull because it has a double safety on the actual trigger itself which is kind of uh, good but it doesn't have any other safety mechanism on this right now this one is empty because there's nothing in here and one thing you have to understand that I actually don't really like about this is that there's two things actually one thing it can only shoot two balls at once and that's it once you do that you have to load it up once again number two is that once you put the balls right inside of here you gotta go ahead and use them and if you don't you can't get them out they're pretty much gonna be stuck inside the chamber so after you put them on shoot them out and that's it so right now what I'm gonna be doing is showing you some previous footage of some shots that I took with this gun and you have to see if this is actually something you would consider getting for yourself it is a lot of fun and something I did enjoy really using so let's get go ahead and get started with some fun time shooting this so during the pandemic it's highly important for you to create your own self-defense weapons 
and here is I'm going to be showing you some examples of how you can create your own home defense paper spray balls and other things that are very effective as well so you can actually buy this which is less little ammo this is the rubble steel balls what it is there is actually a piece of metal right inside here and it makes them very effective self-defense weapons and it comes in two different sizes this is the 43 millimeter there is also a 68 millimeter as well I think the 68 is much more effective because the bigger the weight the more powerful and painful the projectile is as well now one thing that I suggest for you to get is actually to buy something that looks like this so what it is this is empty pebble not pebble spray this is just empty and what it is this is like paintball pretty much and you can go ahead and fill this up with whatever content that you like and that's how it comes with so I bought a bunch of those and I'm gonna be actually testing some of them out as well and one thing you can do here you can take this so just like a buck shock if you're actually shooting um, an actual weapon it got a bunch of those right inside of it anyway and what you can do is you can mix this up too so pretty much what you need is steel BBs and this comes in two different labels over here we have the black diamond point 77 oxidized steel BBs and we have the precision couple coated steel BBs as well I'm not sure which one is better effective the black or the silver version but what I actually did is I took and filled this up with a bunch of those BBs right inside here now you can also fill it with pellets I don't suggest for you to do that because if you fill this up with pellets what's gonna happen is pretty much it's not gonna be that useful because with pellets themselves it's not gonna do a very good projectile so why is that well pretty much this is balls so something like this I'm taking this out and you can see that when this is gonna fly it's gonna fly much better with the impact of this breaking than pellets would actually do so this is definitely the superior item for you to actually use for that now if you want to create your own pepper spray self-defense so you can do that as well so you can see here what I actually did I ordered from Amazon the following which is the red tail scorpion chili <laughs> so this is chili powder it says warning this stuff is dangerous to wear actually gloves when I'm going to be using it and this is a million strong a million one thousand two hundred skill your hit units so th this is extremely powerful stuff and because it's so powerful I gotta wear this I gotta wear the gloves I'm gonna be handling this that's what it says to do so let's do what it says putting the gloves on and yeah that's what you have to buy now you don't have to buy it this powerful but definitely if you want to create your own pepper spray you gotta get the best stuff definitely for that the next thing I'm actually did put it right in here a bunch of this powder and I have this so what I'm gonna be doing is putting it right in here do it yourself pepper ball powder Be super careful we'll be doing this and you have to do it on both sides so one of them and definitely something like that definitely helps this pose it and here is my mistake so it fell on the floor just 
just like this the reason I'm doing it this way I just don't want to get this all over the place definitely not the best of ideas well if that doesn't work old-fashioned way it would actually work so after you fill them up just like that next thing you're going to be doing is closing this up together and just make sure not to put any of this waste because this is some expensive stuff this is like 10 bucks for this whole box of this thing you know so this is going to be super effective now you're going to have to close it up to put this in and pretty much make sure it is very strongly locked in place and if you're going to be using this super powerful stuff you gotta wash your hands from this too so pretty much we got one of them done and i'm gonna get a bunch of them done at least two of them well actually i'm just gonna get one of them to test it out and see how effective the, this thing is so let tails cope in the mixed chili oh yeah can't wait to see how good this is in the shooting range you ready? So let's go ahead, take a shot. See what happens. Not sure what happened. Did he miss? No, he put up. Take another one. Oh, I saw that one. Let's go ahead and look. And we could see it right over it. it. Didn't even penetrate. You can see right here, it just went all over the place. Thank you. 